Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear students In case you don't remember how to install Python IDLE in your computer And if you don't want to use the sandbox This tutorial is going to guide you through this process So simply open your browser And then go to python.org And from the downloads Select Python 3.8.2 It's going to be downloaded here as you can see, it's downloading. We're going to wait for it to finish. Okay, we're back now. When the file is downloaded completely, you can open it. And then you can install now directly or you can customize the installation to select whatever you want to or whatever you don't want. Basically you don't do this, just click install now and then this is going to ask you because it needs administrative privileges. You have to be administrator of, uh, logged in as an admin on your computer or you have admin privileges to install Python correctly. So it's going to install, it's going to take a few minutes, maybe less. Okay, then as you can see, setup was successful. So just like this, you close, and then you are now you are now ready to start Python. You go to the search box and type Python, and as you can see, this is going to be Python 32-bit. But basically, we are going to look for the IDLE Python, IDLE. So this is the Python IDLE. This is the shell. Uh, in the shell you can directly write any code just like print hello it's going to be the output but if you want in the future to write a, a program or a code that has more than one line you have to create a new file and then you write any number of code lines you want print welcome to Python and then I'm going to copy this I'm going to paste it several times welcome to Python again and no, welcome to Python installing Python tutorial and using Python or any messages basically now to run it you need first to save it so you're gonna save the file save as you save it anywhere you want so I'm gonna save it here you better create a folder for you in my documents or anywhere just to keep all your exercises and practices there I'm gonna name it test you don't need to set an extension it's gonna be set automatically by the IDLE the Python itself so it's py as you can see here now you are ready to run Run Python, and as you can see, the run is going to be on your, uh, yep, on your shell. Okay. So any anything you change here, for example, enter. I'm gonna we are gonna try the input. Input. Sorry. Input. Enter. A number. And then we are gonna print that number. Okay, I'm going to press a 5 shortcut for the run, and then as you can see here, you're going to enter a number which is, for example, 2020, and then the number is printed and your print statements. That's it. This is how you install and use Python. I hope <coughs> this was useful. Thank you very much, and see you in the next tutorial.